All right, Pisces. So let's see what we can get for you. Show me what Pisces needs to see for July, please. Starting off with double mission. Lightworker starseed, serve the world by being you. All right, Pisces. So the first message that I'm getting here is you're coming into a power that has always been within you. You're coming back into this power that has already been within you. You are a healer. You're a natural healer. Now, I'm hearing 50% of you guys are meant to heal people who you know, friends, family, people who you come into crossing with. And sorry, this incense is going right in my face. And another 50% of you guys are meant to heal people. You're meant to heal a collective of people. You're meant to heal, I'm hearing the masses, okay? So a lot of you guys are gonna be transitioning, especially if you feel like you have um, increased the spiritual gifts that you have, or you have just been feeling like you're meant to do some sort of spiritual work. You are gonna be getting the signs, the synchronicities, the people, the opportunities, everything is gonna be coming towards you. Now, if you already have some sort of spiritual business, this is showing that this business is going to be flourishing throughout the month of July, okay? Um, specifically the end of July. There is some sort of significant client that a lot of you guys are going to have. And for some of you, you work in like a corporate job, a corporate setting, and you're gonna have a client that you're gonna have a conversation with that is really gonna end up revealing your purpose to you. So if you do not know what your purpose is, your purpose is about to be revealed to you. And this is going to make like the biggest transition. Um, this is very beautiful. I feel like this is very powerful. Some of you are makeup artists. Um, some of you are just naturally beautiful. Some of you, you have two missions in this lifetime, one for the first half of your life, the other for the second half of your life. Some of you also have been through more than you could have ever imagined and you're wondering when it's going to switch. It's going to switch soon. There is going to be a switch. It's because you had to go through all of that to understand a lot of... So I'm getting like if there's like one, you know, we all obviously in our lives, we have multiple tra like traumatic experiences, but you know, there is usually like, a majority of people could say that there's one thing that's like the most traumatic that they could experience but you feel like you've had so many of those and it's so that you can relate to so many people who have gone through those similar things okay so it's through the things that you've learned in this lifetime and all of your other lifetimes um that is going to really help you okay you are literally the sign that has had the most lives in this lifetime so the amount of knowledge that you have whether you are aware of this or not is insane and it is essential for like, I feel like you're going to help get the, this collective, this next collective, um, to where it needs to be. Some of you only recently, like, started your spiritual, your spiritual journey. And so this could also mean that for those of you where you're just getting into spirituality, you're just getting into tarot reading or crystals or whatever it is that you really are called to, you, um, in the second half of your life, are going to be teaching whatever it is that you're just currently getting into, okay? So it all makes sense, but there's two separate missions, um, one of them may be what you've always wanted and the other one could be something that you never knew was in alignment for you or never even thought of. But once it comes into your life, you're going to feel like I could have never imagined doing anything other than this. All right, Pisces. So we have activated earth, power places, lee lines, trust where you're led. Yeah. So you guys are going to, all the answers you need are within you. You guys are going to be led and what you're being leaded to do is also going to help you to lead others, okay? There's some sort of like following that you're going to get, but it's not like, I really don't like the word following. Like it's not like, you're not going to be an influencer, but you're going to be a teacher, okay? And there are influencers and there are teachers. And that doesn't mean that as a teacher, um, it has to be something that is going to, like it has to be a certain type of knowledge, right? There are people who are in the makeup industry that are teachers rather than influencers, right? And so I think like your purpose is bigger than what you currently um, see, than how you're currently able to see. And what you're not seeing and because you're in this in-between and you're not seeing certain things, you might feel a little bit anxious, a little bit like you're behind, you're not behind. This is a sign that you are not behind, that you are exactly where you need to be and you are going exactly where you need to go. 
so stunning okay so the things that you think are delays were never delays they were never delays because you have never been off of your path you are on your path pisces pisces first card out is the knight of swords and now i'm hearing with this what you want wants you okay there is a specific um individual here who is coming for you <laughs> they're coming for you they're coming for you I'm hearing this as somebody who's coming to you in style. So this for somebody who, um, if this is somebody quite new, they've undergone some sort of in, like enhancement in their life. Now, if this is somebody from your past, they have leveled up to be in a place where they now align with you. Okay, so this, if this is a past relationship, it definitely wasn't the best back then. But moving forward, you guys are going to be in alignment with each other. You're going to be on the same path, the same page as one another. And so this person is going to be coming to you with this energy. I am seeing like seven days. So this could be seven days from when you see this reading. This could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. The Ace of Swords here. Yeah, there's some sort of communication coming in towards you from some sort of love. Someone that you love, someone that you love, somebody that you don't have clarity on, whether it's current, you don't have clarity on how they feel or past. You have no idea why you broke up um, or they never really just expressed themselves to you in general here. But this person has some truth that they're wanting to share with you. And this truth I'm hearing is going to warm your heart up. Now, not every single one of you is going to want to take this person back if it's someone from the past. But just hearing the truth is going to set you free to a certain extent. The Four of Pentacles here. I also see your finances improving. You are going to be in a place, especially if you've been worried about your finances lately, you're not gonna have to worry about your finances anymore. Wherever you felt restriction is going to be released, okay? It's like you were at a red light for months and months and months and now the light is finally going green and you're about to be moving forward towards your goals, your desires, the ultimate love of your life in <laughs> the quickest of ways. It's one of those things where you literally wake up and you're Oh, I'm hearing viral. Some of you might be going viral, but it's like you wake up and you're in a whole new world. Okay. It's a world that you had planned for and you had waited for, for such a long time, but like, it's going to happen so quickly, um, that you're just going to be like, I feel like some of you guys are going to be like feeling like you're in a pinch me world, like in a pinch me, having a pinch me moment. The King of Wands and the Page of Swords here. All right, so with this King of Wands here, right now you need to focus on your creativity. You need to focus on tapping into, so I'm hearing the arts, okay? So this could be different for everybody. Some of you, it's gonna be painting. Some of you, it's gonna be drawing. This could be music, um, some sort of instrument. This is whatever creative process is the greatest for you. This could be creating candles. This could be creating clothing. This could be design work, right? Um, interior or um, like some sort of web design. But, I'm hearing you're going to be paid very well for your passion. The only thing is you just have to take... Oh, some of you guys are going to be creating your own makeup lines. Very interesting. It's something about the way that you do what you do. So don't worry about the fact that there are millions or billion, probably not billions, but there are millions or hundreds of thousands, uh, thousands of people that do what it is that you do. It's not about how many people do it. There's enough room for everybody. There's enough money for everybody. There's enough of everything for everybody. It is what, it is how you do it. It is what you specifically bring, your essence. It's how you bring your own personal energy into what you do that is going to make this successful. So whatever the reasons that you've been holding back, that you've been waiting, there's never going to be a perfect time. The perfect time is ultimately now. And all the signs that you need to see this are coming. They are all coming better if you take the leap before the signs are um, revealed to you, right? It's like, take a leap in yourself. Page of Swords. There's somebody in your energy that knows who you're meant to be in this lifetime. I feel like a lot of you guys are dealing with a, a past life energy, somebody that you've had a past life with. Okay, I'm hearing this is your biggest cheerleader, but for some reason you're not aware of this. So maybe they're your biggest cheerleader behind the scenes. Maybe they're your biggest cheerleader when it comes to the way that they talk about you to other people, but they've never really said these things to you. And I'm hearing this person never felt the need to say these things because they thought you already knew, right? I'm hearing they didn't want to just give you another compliment that's just like everybody else. 
because this person feels like people fuel you with compliments all the time, but I'm hearing that's not the case. Or if it is the case, you don't really care about what any of those other people are saying. You want the compliment from this specific person. That's what's gonna mean something to you. Maybe when you hear from other people, it sounds a little superficial, but this is the person that you wanna hear these things from. And so whatever it is that you've been waiting to hear is coming and it is coming in the most beautiful way. And I'm also hearing it's coming in the most perfect timing. All right, my love, so that is what I have for you for the month of July. I hope that you guys have a beautiful month and I wish you so much happiness moving forward. Take care, my loves.